We are told that almonds are the ultimate healthy snack. Great for your heart, great for your life. But their wild ancestors actually had cyanide in them and a handful could kill you. And if you process almonds today, what does that do to them? Are they still good for you? Let's see what the science says and learn about them. Another week, another discovery. Let's dive in. First off, let's talk about almonds and where they came from. Wild almonds were eaten and killed people over 4,000 years ago. Around that time, a mutation in the gene of the almond occurred, which turned off that cyanide uh, buildup, allowing for what we know as sweet almonds and the almonds that people are eating today. Almonds were then spread around the world, eaten by kings. We even saw some almonds in some pharaoh's tombs and pyramids. They're very highly uh, used and touted out as great nutritional options for many, many years. In 1700, Spanish traders brought them to America, where they didn't do too well until they found their way to California. The dry heat and just the ultimate climate of California has been perfect for almonds, leading to California booming and becoming the number one producer of world almonds with over 80% of the global market. If you've got 80% of the market, would you want people to think they're super healthy? Hmm, something to think about. Let's take a look at the nutrition of an almond. Often touted as highly nutritional, nutritions, you hear about the protein and the fiber. Uh, almonds contain uh, all that, but they also contain a high dose of vitamin E that your body metabolizes very well. This leads to probably some of the more healthier benefits of almonds. But a couple caveats here. They are actually very uh, calorie dense. One ounce of almonds is 160 calories. Um, has 14 grams of fat. We talked about that. It's a little bit more on the healthy fats. You have three and a half grams of fiber, which is a, a reasonable amount of fiber, and six grams of protein. You think of almonds as having maybe a good protein source. They're, they're an okay protein source, but it's also worth noting that they are low in one of the amino acids of protein, which is lysine, and you would need to make up that by eating a different plant in order to actually get the full protein benefits. The fats are generally considered heart healthy, but the real winner of this is that vitamin E. That is what gives your body the the bulk of its benefits. It's very nutrition dense, and if you eat a lot of them, you're not going to lose weight. So if you're looking at it from a uh, ability to snack and eat it, it, it's you can eat a lot really quickly, you get a ton of calories, which is great if you're like taking a hike. If you're trying to lose weight, you could accidentally pack on a whole bunch of extra calories you don't want. Overall nutrition grade here is going to be a C plus. Okay, let's take a look at how it impacts some chronic diseases. First off, we're going to look at heart health. Um, some studies were done, and ultimately, uh, this is what it is most known for as being beneficial. But a, a particular study, Berryman in 2015, um, did a study where they swapped a muffin for almonds and tested a group of people. And what they found uh, was that it lowered your, L your bad LDLs and overall trimmed their body fat a bit leading to a lower cardiovascular disease risk. Another study was done, ATTIS, in 2020, um, where they validated that it can help with uh, your arteries just relaxing and loosening up. And they attribute it to roughly a 13% lower cardiovascular disease risk. A couple things to note here, in a lot of these studies, they take almonds and compare them against a known bad food and find that almonds do better. Um, there is definitely some proof here that it actually does have some internal benefits. I think the vitamin E is a big one here. 
but it also feels a little bit like they're trying to get better results than they deserve. Um, overall, my score here is going to be a B plus because there is some evidence, but it's just, it doesn't quite feel great. Another thing we can take a look at is blood sugar control. They did some studies, once again, swapping almonds with a white carb snack and found that it can improve your A1C, uh, ultimately lowering your blood sugar. Once again, though, you're swapping it out with something that would have raised your blood sugar. It's not... Why, why didn't you just take the almonds and see it go lower, right? Um, that was just the studies. I was, the, you know, kind of the obvious studies I looked at. But ultimately, it feels like almonds are a decent replacement. But are they really driving the, the impacts? Maybe. Overall grade for blood sugar, B minus. Let's take a look at some of the other horrible can <laughs> uh, uh, chronic disease, anti-cancer. Almonds haven't been studied super extensively directly in the realm of cancer, uh, but this is probably because there's been no evidence that it has any benefits. Um, there's been a lot of studies with nuts in general, and there are other nuts that actually I think have more benefits, almonds in particular, we got, we just really don't have anything, a straight up goose egg. So for here, we're going to say F, almonds are not going to help you avoid cancer. Definitely not heal it. Lastly, we're going to look at brain health, Alzheimer's. Um, there are many plants that have good markers that this can improve your brain health. Uh, however, in the studies they have done with almonds, although, although far and few, uh, they haven't found any real benefits. The cognitive gain is just not there. Um, there's no clear linkage that almonds will improve your brain health, and ultimately, there are better plants out there. So for, for brain health, we are also going to give it an F. All right. So it didn't rank that well in our chronic diseases. It did okay with heart health and has some good nutrition, but here's a plot twist. Roasting almonds, which is how we typically eat them, potentially, depending on the heat that it was roasted at, cuts that vitamin E, which is the main benefit, in half. In addition, high heat roasting almonds can have acrylamide uh, build up in the almond, which is, an, is a known carcinogen that can actually cause cancer. The hotter the almond, the higher the acrylamide. In addition, all those great healthy fats, they oxidize, turning into worse fats that can actually cause free radicals, which can lead to chronic disease inflammation. So, the plot twist here is, while almonds in their raw organic state do have some benefits, they're pretty much cut in half if you process them, which is the way that we all eat almonds. Um, so as usual, marketing leads us to believe something, we do it, and we are potentially misled. There's also general safety risks with, with almonds. Obviously, if you have a nut allergy, almonds are not good for you. Uh, but as we said earlier, the acrylamide buildup and oxidized lipids, which is effectively changing those good fats to bad fats, can actually be detrimental to your health. But the other one, and this one's a little bit sneaky, is it's just a lot of calories. And if you are trying to lose weight and trying to be healthy in that manner, almonds are one of the worst options because we actually pack a ton of nutrients into these little almonds. Uh, you eat a couple handfuls and your, your calorie count's gone for like the day. So be very careful with them. They can be a good replacement, especially if they're raw and organic for something that would be bad for you. And, you know, they taste good. And if you just need some calories, they're a great option. They're not going to hurt you unless they're processed. So on to our score. So let's first take a look at raw organic almonds. Nutritional density, we gave it a C plus. Heart health, a B plus. Blood sugar, a B minus. Anti-cancer F and brain health F, giving us a total score of 7.3. Not bad. Wouldn't call it a superfood, but definitely 
a healthy food to eat. Plot twist, though, the way you actually want to eat them, processed and, you know, delicious, put a modifier on that for the nutrient loss, the added uh, chemicals that go into processing, and give it a score of 5.8. Not the worst snack. I mean, you definitely could eat worse snacks. Candy bars and Doritos would probably fall into a worse category. But they're far from healthy at that point. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We're going to dive in next week to another highly marketed, uh, healthy uh, food, olive oil, and see what the science really says. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Uh, I love almonds too. It's okay. Appreciate, uh, appreciate it all, and uh, we'll see you next week. God bless.